Uh, so I'm absolutely delighted uh, to be here uh, for three reasons, really. Just firstly, this magnificent building, I am old enough to remember when Old Bar One first came to Greek Street. I think it was in the late 80s, early 90s. And I was working for Leeds City Council at the time. And uh, for the leader of the council, it was then John Trickett. And the slogan that Leeds had in those days was Leeds, the motorway city. Uh, and we thought we could probably do better than that. And so that was when Leeds, the 24-hour European city and so on, people started thinking about uh, that and promoting that. And that is one of the great things that has happened in the north. And I think it's happening in Bradford now as well, actually. Uh, you know, the revival of the city centres in particular and, and the activity. So it's great uh, to be here. And uh, one of my favourite bars, Old Bar One. So I'm delighted to be here for, for that reason. And also uh, the hosts are... are uh, 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 organizing hosts, uh, the Yorkshire Enterprise Network. Last time I came to a Yorkshire Enterprise Network uh, meeting, I think it was about February, March, uh, I didn't think I'd ever have a paid job again, let alone be a member of parliament. So, uh, uh, you know, that just shows you the power of the Yorkshire Enterprise Network, don't you? Come along here and who knows what will happen. So I'm delighted to be here for that reason. And then thirdly, just today is an important day. Now, hands up and no lying, who knows what day Yorkshire Day is? Don't tell me, just hand, hands up, what is Yorkshire Day? So that's about, about a half know that what Yorkshire Day is. Well, Yorkshire Day is August the 1st. Don't forget it next year. And this August the 1st, does anyone read the Yorkshire Post? Anybody, uh, Yorkshire Post readers amongst, still a few amongst them. Yeah, still a few. Yeah, sorry? Yes, yeah, so, you, well, no, not about me, but uh, 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 that was a good photo. Uh, you, you're right to draw attention to it. Saturday's edition, I'm sure you can st still get a good photo of Oakley Moor, which, actually, so I represent Keithley, by the way. So, you know, Keithley, which includes Ilkley, and uh, just a slight diversion, it's completely diverse communities, Keithley and Ilkley, as I talked about. In the, is anybody from Ilkley here? Anybody from Ilkley at all? No, well, I can tell this story then about Ilkley. So I went to Ilkley. The differences in my constituency, Keithley and Ilkley, obviously very different communities, uh, revealed in this story. I went to Ilkley Parish Council, and Inspector Khan was reporting, he was the head of police uh, to Ilkley Parish Council, and he, was, and he said there was, uh, he was a great man, and he said there was a disturbance in the park in Ilkley the other week with several teenagers under the influence, and they had to be, uh, uh, they had to be not arrested, but they had to be moved on by Inspector Khan's officers. And Inspector Khan's officers also confiscated, he said, six bottles of Pims that evening. Now, obviously, probably if it was in Keithley, it would be something else they were confiscating. But anyway, it's a wonderful constituency to represent with all the... You drew attention to it, so I thought... I'd, anyway, the third reason that is, you know, on that day in the Yorkshire Post, on August the 1st this year, anybody who read it, all the councils in Yorkshire, bar Sheffield and Rotherham, issued a statement saying they want to get together and have devolution, not just for Leeds, not just for Sheffield, not just for Hull, but the whole of Yorkshire, including the North Bank, but not the South Bank of the Humber. And then today is an even more historic day because they've met in York, all those, I think it's 18 councils, and they've agreed to proceed with this proposal now, that there would be a, a combined authority, which they would all nominate people on, uh, for the whole of Yorkshire, not sure about Sheffield and Rotherham yet, but I think they might be persuaded uh, down, the, down the line. And this body would run transport, passenger transport, for the whole of Yorkshire, uh, would run things like skills, uh, would get £150 million pounds of extra money from the government, uh, and there's various other things that it would have an influence on tourism, uh, possibly sports as well, possibly school academies is one idea. So it's a historic day that they've agreed to do that and they're now going to ministers and say, can we do that? And that would they'd also be an elected mayor, by the way, an elected mayor for the whole of the Yorkshire councils who join up. And we are on the brink of that now. I truly believe we're on the brink of that because what political party, the Labour Party in my case, or the governing party, the Conservative Party, can they say no to the whole, pretty well, the whole of Yorkshire? And we do need Sheffield to come on board if we can. I don't think they can actually. It doesn't require any change in legislation if there's one combined authority for the whole of Yorkshire and one elected mayor. And why does it matter? And Jerry gave some examples of why it mattered. I'll just add another one. Some of you have heard that the Commonwealth Games, uh, you know, are up for grabs. That Channel Four might be up for grabs. 
they're not going to come to Yorkshire, you know. They, I don't think, even though we're doing our best in Bradford to and Leeds to try and get Channel 4, and they're not coming to Yorkshire, and there'll be so many other things that aren't coming to Yorkshire, because there's Manchester, there's Birmingham, and they've got mayors already, and they're banging the drum, and they're first in Whitehall. But we could leapfrog them all. Yes, Andy Burnham says, and I believe him, he wants devolution in Yorkshire so we can all cooperate to get a good deal for the North on things like transport, and that would be powerful. Andy Burnham, the Mayor of Yorkshire, the Mayor of Liverpool, one or two others as well. But also, there's a, at the back of Andy Burnham's mind, is, oh my goodness, if Yorkshire ha can get their act together. And do you remember David Cameron, when he, famously when he came to a test match in Yorkshire two or three years ago, and he was half right. He said he knew, oh, this was not to Cam, this was to, uh, he thought that the camera wasn't on when he was saying it, but he said he always realised that Yorkshire people hated the outside world, but he never realised they hated each other quite so much. And that was because we couldn't do a devolution deal. But now, if we can do a devolution deal, Andy Burnham will think at the back of his mind, well, probably the Mayor of London is the most foremost mayor, probably, in terms of being worldwide recognition. But second, second, I think, could come Yorkshire. We could leapfrog Manchester. We could leapfrog Birmingham. And the Mayor of Yorkshire could be, I'd say, the second most powerful local government figure in the whole of England, just by the virtue of the place they represent and, uh, uh, and the population and the economic centre. So I think we can do better than Manchester. We can have a mayor and, a, and a, uh, the cabinet would be made up, at least in the first instance, I think, of local authority leaders. But we are on the brink, I think, of something quite distinct here in Yorkshire. And as Jerry says, it's the business community who had different views. You know, some have said we should have a Leeds City region, some have Sheffield City region, but now there is one game in town, and that is, uh, following today's meeting, you know, a Yorkshire mayor, a Yorkshire combined authority, and I think that's very exciting indeed. Thank you very much. Thanks, John. Yes.